It's a deep muscle rub, and I use it on my right shoulder and my arm. Connie Schick used to take the painkiller Percocet after her stroke. It ruins your stomach for one thing, and it makes you ad addictive to them. And this is not addictive. But now she uses a cannabis cream for chronic pain. You know, you can feel the muscles just kind of relaxing. Well, good morning, folks. Again, I'm Kelly Ogilvy. I'm the founder of a company called Deep Cell, and we work on technology in cannabis. Kelly Ogilvy gives talks like these at assisted living campuses a lot because residents like Connie want to learn more about cannabis, specifically cannabidiol, CBD. CBD is a non-psychoactive uh, chemical in the plant, meaning if you take CBD, it doesn't get you psychoactively high. Ogilvy explains how the Chinese discovered the healing properties of cannabis nearly 5,000 years ago how healers in India used the plant for medicine 3,000 years ago, as did the Egyptians, who used it to treat inflammation and glaucoma. You don't have to trust me, you can just literally ask my sister Sasha right here. But Ogilvy need only look at his sister, Sasha, to know CBD can be a lifesaver. Her epilepsy caused seizures. She fell and dislocated her shoulder, hurt her knees. She got hooked on opioid painkillers for six years. I had made a decision that I never wanted to take opioids again because it caused a lot of destruction in our family and for myself. But when her brother suggested CBD sugar, she initially said no. I don't want to go to a dispensary. I don't want to look like, you know, a pothead. After trying CBD sugar, Sasha not only managed her pain, she cut her evening epilepsy dosage in half. She's been seizure free since 2008. I can't believe this works better than what the doctors had prescribed me. Dr. Nefi Stella at the University of Washington yes, School of Medicine has been studying cannabis for 25 years. Can grandma overdose on cannabidiol? No. Currently there is no aspect of cannabidiol that we understand that would actually harm grandma or anybody else. He says CBD has proven therapeutic qualities. He says researchers are very sure CBD can reduce seizures and help fight glioblastomas. And he says it's very likely CBD helps with pain, anxiety, PTSD, and some cancers. Cannabinoids have a very good safety profile. It all depends on doses and how much you take and how often. And so what companies like what we're doing is- For Kelly Ogilvy, cannabidiol is medicine people are seeking and finding. And the real beauty of it is that the cannabinoids are cheap. Relatively speaking, it's really affordable medicine for people. Um, my sister is proof of the, the effect it can have, and so it's personal for me. Lori Matsukawa, King 5 News.